Hi, I'm Clint Dewey, the principal. I'm Jenna Lewis, the AEC president. And, and we'd, we'd like, like to, to welcome, welcome you to, to Fortuna, Fortuna High, High School. School. Hi, Miss Femme. Why don't you tell me a little about yourself today? Hi, I'm Femme. I'm the English teacher here in CA5. Welcome to my classroom. I'm feeling great today. We're going to have some soccer coming up, too. All right, so we're going to play a little game. A game? My favorite. Okay, it's called This or That, or I guess Would You Rather. Would you rather read or write? Read or write? You're asking, you're asking an English teacher if I'd rather read or write. That's a horrible question to ask an English teacher. I'm giving that a tie. I like to read and write. Okay, okay. How about would you rather teach seniors or freshmen? Again with these questions. I love all of my students. I can never answer just one or the other. My students are my most favorite part of my job. I like freshmen and seniors, and sophomores and juniors for that matter. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so would you rather write an essay or read a bunch of essays? I you would have to love answer it. this one. I would love it if I could write an essay and then have my students read my essay. Oh. And then they could use that as an example for their wonderful essays that I would then read. Okay. No Sounds cell phones good. in class. Hi, I'm Logan Calvert and I'm the ASB treasurer. What's up guys? My name is Megan Dixon and I am currently serving as the senior class president. And today we're going to be taking you on a tour of the science department. I was reading a book on helium. I couldn't put it down. Why did the germ cross the microscope? To get to the other slide. <laughs> Hello, I am Miss Dixon. I am the department chair of the lovely and awesome science department. If you are interested in how you work as a human, how the world works around you, science is the department to be in. Okay, um, hello, my name is Mark Tom. I am a biology and chemistry teacher here at Fortuna High. I also teach environmental science and we cannot wait to get you into a science class. If you go ahead and look, I have this mysterious white powder here and I've got this clear liquid that looks a lot like water. But if we add them together, what we end up with is not either of those. So we'll be studying the chemistry of this and many more things when you decide to come to Fortuna High and take some science classes. History Department! This is the History Building and this is Mrs. Hayes. Hi, welcome. We're very excited to see you next year and you will have social sciences all four years of high school and we, I think you'll really like the social sciences department. We got a good group and we're looking forward to having you in here. One. This is Mr. Bimbo. Mr. Bimbo, what would you like to tell the incoming freshmen? Well, I want to tell all you brand new Huskies to get involved, try to do as much as you can when you get into high school, and enjoy the moments. It's not always fun, but I promise you, if you get involved, great things are going to happen. We are here with Ms. Havlin, D9. Is there anything you'd like to say to the incoming freshmen? Hello? Please, 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 please. What's up? Oh, this hey. is Peace. Uh, I don't have a microphone. Yeah, okay, that's it. Right. Ooh. Class pet raccoon Rigby. 
So today we are here with Miss Cahill in D3. Miss Cahill, is there anything you would like to say to the incoming freshmen? I would say watch out for you, but... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> now for some history facts. There were about 13 days when we thought the world might blow up in the Cuban Missile Crisis. George Washington is the first president. <laughs> facts! If I'm being honest, I never played a century until my four years <laughs> History department is the best department. So, we have to do a yes, Adam. I hear you're a math teacher. Yeah. That's correct. An E building, actually. Tell me about yourself. <laughs> my name is Mrs. Raven, and I teach a math um, right here at Fortuna High. I'm one of the geometry teachers, so I will see several of you in my geometry class, or some of you at least, because all of our freshmen take geometry when they come into Fortuna High. It's our entry-level math class, and then after geometry, you'll have the option to move on to Algebra 1 and then um, Algebra 2, or whatever pathway you decide you want to take. Um, the other option for freshmen is the accelerated geometry class, if you want to try to get uh, geometry and Algebra 1 done in a single school year, so that's an option for you as well. Hi, my name is Antonio. I'm a junior. I'm in pre-calc right now. Uh, my advice for you guys is to take the honors classes to the math courses because it's just a better environment. Hi, I'm Logan. I'm in pre-calc right now. So my advice would be if you don't get math, learn it. <laughs> be afraid of haze. Uh, best advice to give freshmen for math is stay stay caught up on your homework. Make sure you're getting your homework done. And now let's visit, take a visit to the Spanish department with Miss Thompson and Isaiah. <laughs> Hola. Hola. This is Miss Thompson and this is Isaiah. Um, Miss Thompson, what's your favorite part about being a Spanish teacher here at Fortuna High? Um, well, I like meeting all the students and all the, you know, the bonding that happens and the different activities that we do in class and getting people excited and energized to sing, to dance, um, to cook, to to learn words, to get past their fear of pr um, pronouncing words, and just try to have fun and as they learn Spanish grammar and how to speak Spanish and how to speak with each other in Spanish. I have a good time. And then, what's your favorite part about being Spanish this year? Um, my favorite part of being a Spanish this year is just really being able to understand the new language, understanding techniques to understand it, getting to meet my fellow classmates. Um, really just enjoy this year and being a junior this year, just kind of going into my senior year, but Spanish will be amazing time for you. Just come on down, enjoy some Spanish, and meet amazing Miss Thompson. Thank you, guys. Go. What department are you from? Um, I'm from the PE department. My name is Max Betts. Will you give us a little bit of insight for the freshmen? Yeah, no problem. So your freshman year, you're going to do sports like basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, uh, badminton, soccer, about any, any sport that you can think of, we're going to try and do uh, here in the PE department. Also, if uh, the camera woman would take a look around in here, we've got a sweet weight room that the freshmen will also get to experience uh, about two days a week to get you guys ready for um, hopefully those upperclassmen classes like advanced conditioning to get stronger. Well, you should be excited for PE. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yes, it will be a lot of fun and I'm excited to see all of you guys next year. Hi, I'm Joey Quinn, and I'm the senior class sergeant of arms, and I've been here for four years. And here is your tour of culinary arts. Okay, so we have a short food joke for you. What did the beat DJ say to the crowd? Let us turn up the beat. Fun fact, every year we compete in two different competitions, Skills USA and Pro Star. What is your favorite thing to teach beginning students? 
my favorite thing to teach the beginning students is the lasagna, the homemade lasagna that we do every year. We make the sauce from scratch, we make the noodles from scratch, we don't make the cheese from scratch, but it seems to be the favorite for everybody. It's a fun one. And we roll the pasta with pasta machines and everything. It's, it's really fun. Thank you, thank you. Now back to you, Gabe. Thank you for coming on our culinary arts tour. Woo! Hello, I'm Emma Richardson, and I'm here in front of the Fortuna High Music Room. And we're going to be taking a look inside. Did you know that the Fortuna High actually played at the grand opening of the Golden Gate Bridge in 1937? In here is the choir room, where the Fortuna High Choir practices daily. If you're in Fortuna High Choir, you'll have the chance to do honor choir, and also possibly perform at school events, singing the national anthem and stuff like that. Virginia High Choir is a really fun experience that I highly recommend you join. It's full of community and love. In here, we actually have the band practicing one of our favorite songs to play in the stands and cheering for our teams. So we walk in here, we'll see them practicing, and we'll even ask the band teacher a couple questions. Are you ready to go? Here we have the director of the band, Campbell. What's your favorite song that you've played? Uh, with this band, Avengers. <laughs> How many years have you been teaching? Uh, this is my 17th year. What is your favorite piece that the choir has performed? Uh, Psalm 151. That was the Virginia High Band performing Crazy Frank for us. We are so ecstatic to have you join us next year and cannot wait for the day you guys step on campus. Hi guys, so this is Auto Shop. This is where you learn all about auto and everything like that. So this is the classroom where you learn most of the stuff like videos and like paperwork and stuff like that. And then this is Mr. Miles, the actual Auto Shop teacher. And he's going to be walking you through the hands-on. Yeah, come on with me. So this is the main shop. Um, this is where generally auto two and three are. Um, if you look over there real quick, so that's all like brake stuff to turn brake uh, rotors and drums. And then we have a computer over here for uh, online repair manuals and then wheel weights. We can do just about anything with tires and wheels so we can balance there. Um, these are these are our toolboxes that you guys will be using. Um, this is an alignment machine. We can do four wheel alignments. Um, it's all done by like infrared geometric angles and stuff. So it's pretty cool. And then all the over here. And then you can mount, dismount. We have three different mount, dismount machines. Um, this is something that Auto 1 will do and Auto 2 as well. Um, so if you guys sign up for Auto, this is what you'll be doing. Um, these are like special tools. Again, the alignment machine. And then Auto 1, you come through here. This is kind of where Auto 1 hangs out a lot of the semester. Uh, you can see all the engines that are out. We're starting engines uh, disassembly tomorrow in Auto 1. So um, I have a bunch of General Motor engines as well as Ford engines. What department are you guys from? We're the Agriculture Department. I'm Miss Lofold. And I'm Miss Kleiner. Agriculture is the number one employer in our state. You should take an ag class. Oh, I didn't see you there. We offer ag mechanics and welding in the ag department. We also teach floral design and make cool holiday projects. Throughout. These are our chapter youth. You can have the opportunity to help us during lambing season when they have their babies. And you can raise sheep and pigs that are fully functioning Here we go. We also have a beautiful raised bed garden and greenhouse. Our students have the opportunity to go on field trips and travel across the state. And how do they get started? The first step is signing up for Agriculture One next year. Let our department be your home away from home. Go Huskies! Woo! I'm Joey Quinn, this is Mr. Roslozny. We are currently in Woodshop. And is there anything you'd like to say to the incoming freshmen, Mr. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing all you guys next year. Um, 
I teach both the wood shop and the metal shop. Right now I'm in the wood shop. Um, we start you off uh, with safety and hand tools and work your way up through all the different machines in both shops and cover a lot of cool fun stuff. Back to you. I really love ceramics, so I love teaching ceramics. It gets me really excited when people have ideas and I can help them make their stuff. Do you have a favorite ceramics project that you do in your class? Um, probably like the mythological creature because people like make their own mythological creatures and write stories and the stories are quite hysterical. That sounds super fun. <laughs> Hey, I'm here with counselor Stephanie Neighbors at Fortuna High. How are you doing today, Stephanie? I'm doing great today. How long have you been a counselor at Fortuna High? This is my fifth year at Fortuna High. Great. Um, what made you want to become a counselor? Um, I was a science teacher for many, many years, and I love teaching science, but I saw a lot of needs in my students' lives that I felt like I was better suited to solve as a counselor than I was as a teacher. That's amazing. Uh, what do you do here at Fortuna High? Um, a little bit of everything. It really just depends on what the kids need. Um, my big projects every year are putting scholarships out for our seniors um, and organizing registration. But it really depends on what students need. We are kind of the first point of contact, so you can bring any question or any concern to us and we will figure out what that answer is or point you in the right direction to the right person. That sounds excellent. Um, which students do you serve here at Fortuna High? Um, I serve any student that has a last name between H and P. I'm here with Norm Sotomayor, another counselor at Fortuna High. How long have you been a counselor at Fortuna High, Soto? This is my fourth year at Fortuna High School. That's great. Um, what made you want to become a counselor? Uh, I was in education as a teacher at Fortuna Middle School for 13 years and this opportunity came open and just thought I'd expand my horizon a little bit and get to work with students in a different fashion. What else do you do here at Fortuna High? I coach uh, varsity boys basketball and track and field for boys and girls. That's great. Um, which students do you serve as a counselor? Any student that has last names that start with the letters A through G. Hi, I'm here with Hannah Gomez, another counselor at Fortuna High. My counselor at Fortuna High. How long have you been a counselor, Gomez? So this is my sixth year at Fortuna High. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what made you want to become a counselor? You know what? I decided to become a school counselor because I really wanted to help students. And honestly, it was from my experience working with an amazing counselor that made me want to then become one. That's great. Um, which students do you serve here at Fortuna High? So I serve students um, with last names Q through Z, and then also I serve all the English language learners. 